Just weeks after a massive earthquake in Haiti and another in Taiwan, residents in Chile felt a powerful earthquake measuring 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale. NCTV 17's Jenny Barger introduces us to one local family who has ties in that country. When Rodrigo and Joy Fernandez de la Riera heard the news of another earthquake, this time in Chile, it hit closer to home than your typical Naperville family. That's because Rodrigo was born and raised in Santiago, Chile, 270 miles north of where the 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake hit Concepcion, Chile. My father-in-law, you know, wake me up very early in the morning and said, you, you better turn the TV and check what's going on in Chile. And when they start showing the areas, some of the areas are where I grew up. You know, I mean, some of the areas, or some of the little town where I used to go on vacation, and they are destroyed, completely destroyed. Rodrigo immediately tried to call his family to make sure everyone was safe. When he didn't hear anything, Joy tried to communicate in a different way. Rodrigo was calling and then I was on the internet and I found a Facebook post from one of my nieces. So that was a huge relief and then, you know, kind of knowing that she had connectivity was a good sign. So I, you know, posted her on her wall right away to see how everyone else was doing. Finally, when you heard, you know, hey, you know, hey, brother, I'm fine, don't worry about it. Finally, it's like, you release. Uh, but I wasn't able to find my father for until Monday morning. It was a very shocking experience, and uh, it's too bad that I wasn't able to be there to help. The Fernandez de la Riguera family isn't going to let an earthquake stand in the way. They plan to go back to Chile to visit as soon as possible. Reporting from the city's east side, Jenny Barger, Naperville News 17. Nearly 700 people in Chile died in that quake, which was 500 times more powerful than the Haiti earthquake, where 200,000 people perished. Authorities say that's because Chile has stronger infrastructure.